And in fact, tomorrow in our workshop, we're going to announce a new product that we're releasing, which we call Plug and Play Smart Contracts. And that's the first of its kind on Cardano. It allows you to, just in a few clicks, uh, be able to deploy any contracts on your, on your website, not knowing anything about UTXOs, Cardano, not, not having to run anything. Mm -hmm. We manage for the full stack mm -hmm. to deploy your contract. Marvin Burton joining me here, representing Maestro, which is basically providing all the infrastructure for builders here on the Cardano network. You guys recently had the DAP platform launch. You and I actually chatted on my channel surrounding that, you know. But what I want to ask you is, you know, maybe just give us a brief overview of what Maestro is, and then what the reception has been like since the launch. Yeah, I mean, our vision is to make building on Cardano easier, right? And we really think that we can speed up the process to help developers build faster and better applications on Cardano. So what Maestro provides is just the building blocks for building dApps. And these are advanced API and developer tools to build anything. You know, you can build an NFT marketplace, you can build a DEX or lending protocol, or even a wallet. And actually that's what people are using uh, Maestro for. All of these things, are many, of, many applications on Cardano are using Maestro under the hood to power the application. Got it, got it. So really simplifying development here on Cardano, which appears to have been a theme, or appears to be a growing theme on the network. There's been some chat about people leveraging other platforms coming in from other networks such as Ethereum, and they're now finding development on Cardano to be getting a lot easier. And I think Maestro is contributing to that, right? So given that, you know, what is on the horizon and what are you guys looking towards next when it comes to just growing the Maestro ecosystem? Yeah, I mean, as the space matures, we're going to start providing more and more advanced tools that abstracts the blockchain more and more. Mm -hmm. And so now it's going to lower the barrier to entry for people coming from outside Cardano. Mm -hmm. And in fact, tomorrow in our workshop, we're going to announce a new product that we're releasing, which we call Plug and Play Smart Contracts. Mm -hmm. And that's the first of its kind on Cardano. It allows you to, just in a few clicks, uh, be able to deploy any contracts mm -hmm. on, your, on your website not knowing anything about UTXOs, Cardano, not, not having to run anything. Mm -hmm. We manage for the full stack mm -hmm. to deploy your contract. And that, that idea is taken actually from Ethereum. If your people are familiar with Open Zeppelin, mm -hmm. Open Zeppelin is a great website where you can just browse smart contracts on Ethereum and a few clicks deploy them into your applications. And you don't even know, you don't even need to know about how Web3 works. Web3 works, you can just Plug, plug in and play. And that's the idea we want to do for Maestro. Yeah, that is huge to hear because again, that's going to lower the barrier for entry for people like myself who I will admit to you, I am not technical by any way, shape or form. But if I could get my hands on tooling like this and build my own tools, you know, how much more development and how many more ideas, you know, Maestro will be able to help to bring to life. Now, I want to ask you a somewhat philosophical question. There seems to be a gap between the developers in the, in the community and the consumers who are at the front end of these dApps, you know, how can we use something like Maestro to kind of bridge the cap or just anything in Cardano, you know, how do you kind of see this, this knowledge gap becoming bridged with respect to some of the people that are really close to like the groundwork like yourself, right, who's, who's, who's a developer, and then somebody like me who kind of wants just the bigger picture. Yeah, so what's gonna happen with Web3 is the same thing that happened with Web2, right? To to achieve mass adoption and onboard billions of people, the, the regular user only cares about functionality, right? They want an app to make their life easier. That's why Uber is a thing, right? They want to find a, a room in Italy. That's why Airbnb is a thing, right? People don't know how the internet works and they don't need to. And that's going to be the same thing for blockchain. People don't need to know that it even runs on the blockchain or even which blockchain it runs on. It, they just need to be like, this is useful and it makes my life better, right? And so as the ecosystem matures, we're going to get to a point where people will just use blockchain enhanced products just because it works and it's useful and it's seamless. And that's where we are, that's our long-term vision, right? Is to build on top of our abstractions and really abstract all the complexity and just provide things that are useful. And, and that's when you get mass adoption. Got it. And I think one key word that you mentioned there was seamless integration. You know, to have everything work in a way where it doesn't feel 
like there's something going on in the background. And like you said, with Airbnb, with Uber, you know, you just get on the app and you don't understand how many things are, are working in the background to make that, that ride request happen Absolutely. or that overnight stay request happen, but it's there, you know. So um, really amazing insight here, Marvin. Any closing thoughts that you want to share here with the Cardano community as it pertains to Maestro just, or, or just Cardano in general? Yeah, I mean, just in general, being here, you know, makes you realize that the Cardano space is alive and thriving. And, you know, we are in the bear market and sometimes it's hard to see that uh, uh, the progress. But I can tell you, being underground, seeing all these people building and grinding and really creating amazing stuff, I'm really excited about the future for Cardano. We have a great ecosystem and we have the momentum to really flourish in the next couple of months. Ladies and gentlemen, another builder, another grinder here, Marvin Burton, CEO and founder of the Maestro platform. Again, simplifying development here on Cardano. If you guys want to find out more about what they're building, check out the links down in the video description. And as always, Marvin, I look forward to having you on the channel as you guys continue to build out your ecosystem. Thank you for your time. My pleasure.